ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming to you today from New Camp RV, and we're gonna to talk to you about the Tab 400. I'm actually gonna walk you down the assembly line here to show you how they are put together. Quite unique. For any more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. But let's get on to this tour here. So these are the flooring. This is the floor for the Tab 400. Now these are built, they actually make those in-house, but it's across the street in another plant. But they're using composite material, both on the outside and the inside. The composite material is lighter, lighter weight, does not absorb water, and that has negated the issue that they had years ago with the floors uh, absorbing moisture and so forth. These are actual insulated floors, and as you can see, they actually do put the wood in the ends there, so that when they're screwing things to the floor, they actually have something to bite to. So looking at the tab 400 panels, this is the sidewall panels. Again, just want to point out the fact that the fiberglass is adhered to Asdale and the inside paneling, although it looks like it's a textured Luon, it is actually Asdale made to look that way. Again, that is helping with not having that issue of having Luon absorbing moisture and creating issues. So at the end of the, at the beginning of the line, as you see, they start lining things up. You have your axles, you have your ceiling panels here, already made, has everything in them. And then we're gonna start going down the line. First thing you're gonna do, they're gonna be going ahead and getting this floor together. Now I had mentioned to you earlier how it is a composite material on both sides that is a way for them to keep the moisture out. Notice how they're using uh, the black tape there to keep things moisture from getting into the seams. So as you can see, they already have have one of them already set up and they're waiting on to put this one here. They'll set a frame on top of it and then they're able to flip it over and set it up here to start working. After they had the frame all together, had the parts on it that they needed to, now they're able to flip it back over, put it, the wheels on, the axles and so forth, and you can see now they're going to start putting the plumbing and wiring and so forth through the floor. So you have your step on it. Now it is put on that, on the wheels, on the track, and with the track and of course the nose wheel, they're able to move it quite nicely down the assembly line. So as we'd mentioned when we were up top, is they're dropping things from up top there so that they're able to start completing the project. On top of that, they're gonna have smaller items on the sides as they move down the line. So as you can see now, it's, things starts coming together. Now they're putting in, in the cabinets, getting things put together. You can see now you have heat. This is back by your bed. This is a heat register for your Aldi system. The Aldi system is gonna be actually put right in this area here, which is under the bed. Accessible, partly accessible through a panel that'll be out here. Now notice how they're putting insulation over top of the plastic wheel well here. Where the and you can see how everything is coming together. So now it's time to get the wiring, some additional plumbing, outlets and so forth put in here. It's going to give you an idea because it's hard to see this stuff when it's all put together. You're not able to see what it looks like behind the scenes. This is going to give you a better idea of what is all together in your camper. Now they're starting to put the rest of the Aldi system in here. Now, nowadays on the Tab 400, you're getting the additional flow system which is going to give you constant hot water. It's hot water on demand. So you'll be able to run that as long as you want. Of course, for that to be a factor, you're probably going to have to be uh, hooked up to a uh, sewer at your campground and leave your gray tank open since it's such a small gray tank. But you're able to do that now. 
So you see the back side of your, um, this is your toilet shower area, the back side of it. Of course, you can see another um, heat register, if you want to call it that. You can have up, up here by your dinette. So you're going to have it all the way around the dinette. You're also going to have it up underneath the sink. And that is what's going to allow you to use this in extreme weather. Now there is another option that is available uh, now. And if you want to forego having your closet there, you could have a three-way fridge, which would be one cubic foot bigger than what you, the little 12 volt fridge that they had previously. So as you can see now, now they have the Cool Cat air conditioning system in here. That's what this is here. Now the nice thing with that Cool Cat, it's very, very quiet, but that's also a heat pump. So when you're in weather that maybe doesn't necessarily need you to turn the Aldi heating system on, you can turn that on to have some warm air thrown through the, through the camper. So as you can see, everything's getting put in. Now you do have a boondock light series that you can get and what that'll do the only thing it's going to do and i'll show you when we get to the end is give you a, the bigger tire handle and then of course something up in the front i'll show you that when we get down to the end so you see now they're starting to put the sidewall on starting to get the structure put together okay so just point something out for you all is because this is an air conditioning unit it does have a filter that's a little foam filter that can be reused, and it's just a little panel you need to pull off behind this. It's underneath your dinette booth here, dinette seat. And all you do is you pull out this, this little foam piece, rinse it off, let it dry, put it back in. But do that on a regular basis, you'll be glad you did. So now they have the other side wall on, and of course, have the windows in. Start to put the outside shower. Black tank rinse, that's what that is for. So you rinse out your black tank. Getting doors put on here and so forth. So everything's starting to come together. And as I pointed out earlier, of course the inside wall that is, that is Asdale, as well as what your fiberglass is adhered to for this unit. Benefit there, no chance that you're gonna have delamination because Asdale will not absorb water like Luon. Now you saw those uh, roof panels that were already put together at the beginning and you can see now they're installing those here. Now the way they're installing these they are being uh, screwed in but they're also being they're also having a heavy set glue type, it's a polyurethane style glue or poly type glue to keep that structure together over the long haul. Now once they have the roof panel uh, put in place, then what they're going to be doing is you can see they have the insulation with the foil on it. They're going to put that over top of the roof to give you the insulation that you need. And from there, you can see that you have, the, you have your aluminum roof panel. You're going to be taking that, and they're going to be wrapping that over top of your camper. So it's one piece all the way front to back. Now then you can see that they have these trim pieces here. And what they're going to be doing with that is they're going to be putting that trim piece all the way around that tops, you talk about over the top, around the, uh, the bottom and so forth, and they'll be screwing that in place. Then what they're doing prior to them putting the trim on, what they'll be doing is actually sealing every piece of that to make sure that water cannot penetrate. Of course, once the roof panel's on, now they can start putting the window in. As you can see with the window seal, And they've got the one in the back and then solar panels if in fact that is something that you chose. Now I'd mentioned how you can get to your Aldi system. This is actually looking through the panel. 
is where you'd get to your Aldi system. Of course, you can get to it under your mattress as well, if need be, and that's where your low point drains are going to be there, temperature control and so forth. So once everything's sealed up quite nicely, now that's when they're going to be putting in on all the trim pieces to finish up the outside to make it look nice and pretty. So as you can see, you have many different colors to choose from on the outside. And as I had mentioned earlier, if you do choose to get the Boondock Light Series, here are a few things that you're going to get. You can see you have this tub right up in front. So that's where your LP bottle and the battery will go. Of course, I had mentioned about the uh, larger tires. And then, of course, you're going to get this Boondock handle. Nice big grab handle for you to get inside. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how the Tab 400 is put together. Hope you enjoyed the video. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you reach out to Beckley's Camping Center, whether you call, whether you stop by, or whether you email, you do ask for Paul the Air Force guy. Appreciate you watching, and I'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care.